Hello, my name is Chris Pratt, and this video is for Adrian and Declan. Identical twin brothers, Adrian and Declan Reagan. Even the star of the Jurassic World movies knows their names. You know me. So sorry for what y'all are going through, but I just wanted you to know that I'm thinking about you. I hope that might put a smile on your face. Their story not only touched Hollywood, it continues to change lives. And the story starts with Declan, who had a nickname. Declan the Dinosaur. Because <laughs> whenever Declan got to like leave his room, he typically was in some sort of dinosaur costume or he was wearing dinosaur like pajamas or t-shirts. Declan and Adrian were busy doing what brothers often do and looking forward to the next Jurassic World movie. They were about to leave soon on a family vacation when mom, Lauren, noticed Declan had a rash. He had these red spots that I'd seen come and go, but head to toe, like on his like eyelids, across his, like completely. She took him to urgent care. They're like, this is so, like you need to get him to an emergency room now. Tests at the hospital showed Declan's platelet count dangerously low. It was at eight. The normal range is 19 times that. Then Lauren got the news no parent wants to hear. The head of oncology at Randall Children's is telling us that our son has acute myeloid leukemia, which is extremely rare in children. She had 48 hours to go home and pack before Declan would spend the next 30 days in the hospital. The twins would be separated for the first time in their four years of life. Our entire family dynamic just changed overnight because now you have to start planning and trying to coordinate with friends and family and, and jobs and just life stops. Over the next two years, Declan would have blood transfusions, chemotherapy, two bone marrow transplants. But through it all, he lifted other spirits. Oh my God, a ball of joy. <laughs> Declan just had this loving caringness to him. Along his journey, Declan the Dinosaur partnered with the nonprofit Bloodworks Northwest, which supplied the blood from donors who kept him alive. We were at blood drives all the time because Declan called them blood parties. He thought that everyone at a blood drive was there for him. And for a kid who got poked by needles a lot, he was there to share his bravery with donors who were not. Get it, Declan. And in the hospital, he was saving dinosaurs. Come with me. Just like his hero, Owen, in the movie trailer for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. We watched that movie trailer probably 80 or 90 times because it was like, yes, we're going to see this movie. But cancer had its own timeline. After his second failed bone marrow transplant, doctors told the family Declan had only two weeks to live. Playing through my head, I'm like, okay, this movie is coming out in June. Like, this is six months-ish away. Like, what are we going to... Lauren was determined to beat the odds and get her boys to that movie. I don't know. Declan went on hospice care. They stopped treatments, but continued blood transfusions, two units twice a week. Make-A-Wish sent them to Hawaii to the Jurassic World movie set. They threw a big sixth birthday bash for the boys that March. And word got to Jurassic World star Chris Pratt that one of his biggest fans was in a real life struggle. I know why we're here. You are in my prayers and my thoughts and I love you. And, and uh, I hope to see you later, kids. It's time. And then something happened Lauren will never forget. And I got a phone call and they're like, it's done. The movie, they just put the finishing touches. They're flying somebody in. The movie producers rented out the Liberty Theater in Camus just for the twins and their family. 
the first fans in America to see the movie they'd been waiting for. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I... And so top secret. I'm glad we could do what we could do. No photos or video were allowed. We were just a, a piece of it that, that was able to make it happen. At the end of the day, Declan lived the most fulfilled life that a six-year-old could ever dream of, and he got to see his movie. <laughs> Declan passed away a few weeks later, five months after doctors had expected. But that wasn't the end. Good morning. Of Declan the dinosaur story. <laughs> do, do, do. Like his favorite movies, he had sequels to come. Good morning. Hi, I'm Lauren. I am the community liaison, but I just wanted to say thank you for donating platelets today. During Declan's final months, but he actually received 108 units of platelets. A priceless so, gift. Thank you so much for donating. Oh, that inspired Lauren to change her own journey, <laughs> leaving her job in the hospitality industry to join Bloodworks Northwest. Presents. She's working with staff who not only helped keep Declan alive. We have an upcoming promotion with Columbia Sportswear. They became like family. Uh, every donor will receive one. And I just now realized, even though I've signed, that you have Declan's card. Oh yeah, absolutely. My first day, it was like coming home because I last seen you at Declan's memorial. Yeah. And so like full circle to come back in my first day at work, you're here. This is day. our first blood drive. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is a big deal. We got to have blood donors. Yep. She also organizes blood drives in communities like Camas, yeah, where the Liberty like Theater brought Declan so much joy. Shop oh, local and get blood. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. And she's helping restart blood drives at high schools like Park Rose. It's a big deal. Hey, how's it going? Are you coming to donate, right? Yes. I could save lives. Yes. Grab yourself a snack and something to eat. Would you like a water bottle, a juice? This is the first high school that we have been at since the pandemic started, so this is a very exciting day. That before the pandemic provided up to 20% of the blood supply. I mean, if my blood can save lives, then, you know, that'll make my conscience from day to day a lot better. Those donations so important now when the nation is experiencing a critical blood supply shortage. Now imagine what that would mean to somebody like Declan those five months wouldn't have come if we wouldn't have had platelets on hand to give to him. Okay. <laughs> I gotta take all the selfies and tag. I post every time I donate. And Laura never <laughs> misses an opportunity to give back as often as allowed. Let's squeeze your hand uh, a couple times. Got it. It's looking great. Every 56 okay. days. You're all done. That's mine. Now it's going away. Yep. What did um, all those people that donated during that time, what did they give you? They gave me time. I'm going to say it's priceless. I lived a lifetime in those five months that all those generous donors gave us. And I just, I can never say thank you enough. It's a great reminder. And on her left arm, the one she always uses to donate. You see the blood going over it. A tattoo of a mama dinosaur and her two baby dinos. It faces me because it's for me. It's my, it's my reminder. Yeah, my two baby dinos. Like the dinosaurs he loved, Declan left a lasting impression long after he left this earth. And a reminder, giving blood is one of the best ways to help humankind. <laughs>